For most of us, the only thing we know about roosters is that they make that horrible noise to wake us all up. But there's a lot more to the rooster than meets the eye, and we have a whole list to prove it. From a stunning silver specimen to a chicken with the name of a god. Let's check out 15 roosters you won't believe actually exist. <sighs> Number 15. Silver Pheasant you probably thought all roosters looked the same, with their brown, orangey feathers and big old red face. You'd be very wrong. This is Lophora nyctamira, also known as the silver pheasant. And man, is he pretty or what? The silver pheasant is native to the mountain forests of Southeast Asia and China. and has a whopping 15 subspecies that can be found all over that region. The rooster typically has a long white patterned tail and black crest on the crown, making it look wildly different from any rooster you may already be familiar with. The silver pheasant is generally known to be a friendly and easy bird to look after. The roosters even put on an exciting and fascinating show during the mating season, so you can see what they cock -a doodle do. Look, I have to get the bad jokes out in advance, or they're only going to get worse. The silver pheasant is a beautiful bird, and about as far from your conventional rooster appearance as you could probably get. Well, maybe Maybe not, we still have a lot to get to, but be honest, would you have thought this was a rooster? I think not. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Brahma Brahma is the creator god in Hinduism. But we are not talking about that today. We're talking about chickens and roosters. And the Brahma is a pretty good rooster in its own right. Sure, it's not a god, but can you name me one chicken that turned out to be a god? Comments down below, please. The Brahma is a breed of chicken that was developed in the United States from birds imported from Shanghai. But while the origin of the bird may be somewhat controversial, we know for a fact that this bird was actually the most popular American meat breed from the 1950s until 1930. <laughs> but while their meat may have somewhat lost its appeal with the public, they're still a popular breed of chicken for farmers. The Brahma comes in three colors, light, dark, and buff. And all three of those look good on the rooster. Yeah, it's a fashion show now, what about it? While they're obviously not as popular as they were in their heyday, the Brahma is still celebrated as a great chicken. Okay, that's maybe one of the strangest sentences I've ever said. Number 13. Cochin can you imagine giving the British Queen a chicken? Well, that apparently is what Captain Edward Belcher did when he brought the original Cochinians over to England from a French colony in Vietnam. And apparently that ballsy move paid off. Queen Victoria loved her Cochinian chickens. That's a little tip for anybody who meets a British monarch in the future. According to records, Queen Victoria's love for these chickens sparked a trend in Victorian England. After news of her special made enclosure came out, Victorians throughout England caught hen fever, which only served to fuel the development of exotic fowl like the Brahma and the Cochinian. Over time, as the bird became more and more aesthetically pleasing, their use apparently began to suffer. But who buys a rooster for use anyway, right? Apparently quite a lot of people, but that's a story for another time. The Cochian rooster looks pretty much exactly as you'd expect from a typical rooster, and thankfully the birds are still as popular today as they were in Queen Victoria's day. Albeit with less hen fever, most modern Cochinians are bred for exhibition and ornamental purposes, making the rooster a popular addition. All hail the Queen's rooster! Number 12. Polish 
One brief look at the Polish rooster, and you may be somewhat alarmed. Not only does it not really resemble a chicken, but the ones with black feathers look downright frightening. Thankfully, these birds are not quite as scary as they may appear at first glance. I think. The Polish chicken's origins are a mystery, but it seems the oldest records of their existence take them back to the Netherlands. <laughs> But who cares about history when they look like this? The Polish chicken's appearance is mostly fascinating due to that unique crest covering their whole head. This crest can severely impede their vision, making them more likely to grow frightened and lash out at unsuspecting humans. Today, the Polish rooster is mostly bred as a showbird for obvious reasons. They just look so dang cool with that crest. While nobody fully understands where the chickens came from or or why it's named that, the Polish chicken is one of the more popular showbirds. Obviously, that's down to its unparalleled appearance, making it stand out against more conventional roosters. I guess being different really does have its benefits, at least in the world of chickens. Number 11. Barbu Diakol if you tried to cross a tiger or a jaguar with a chicken, it would be absolute carnage. But if you somehow managed to succeed against all the odds, you'd probably end up with the Barbu Diakol, a rooster that has some stripy, spotty likenesses to said big cats. Of course, it's nowhere near as dangerous, it's just a chicken. The Barbu Diakol is a Belgian breed of bearded Bantam chickens, widely considered one of the calmest and friendliest breeds across the whole chicken spectrum. While their history is a little murky, it's known that they were shown for the first time in 1905, with the breed well established by 1909. Sadly, these chickens are one of the few species considered to be critically endangered today, despite being the third most popular true Bantam breed in Belgium. This is partially as a result of the First and Second World Wars, as well as additional external factors. While their future may be in question, there's no rooster like the Barbu Diakol. These are primarily exhibition and show chickens, and you can see why, I mean, just look at that pattern. Number 10. Ayam Samani there probably aren't many chickens out there that could genuinely stun someone into silence, but Indonesia's Ayam Samani is definitely one of them. This bird is a highly common breed, notable for being nearly entirely black, from head to internal organs to feet. The reason for this unconventional appearance comes down to genetics, namely one dominant gene that causes a kind of hyperpigmentation that leads the bird to be almost entirely black. Seriously? even their meat and their bones are black. But if that's not unique enough for you, we could also discuss that these birds have been used on the island of Java since the 12th century. often for religious or mystical purposes. I'm guessing that doesn't happen very often with your standard run-of-the-mill rooster, right? Today, the largest collection of Ayam Samanis can be found in Africa, where Congolese Belgian philanthropist Jean Kiala keeps 250 breeding pairs for a Kenyan breeding program. So I guess there's no risk of extinction for now. The Ayam Samani is undeniably one of the most curious and fascinating looking roosters you'll ever see. I mean, even its bones and internal organs are black. Where else are you going to see something as fascinating as that in the world of chickens? KFC, get out of here. Number 9. Rosecomb I'll give you one guess why this chicken is called the rose comb. If you said it's because their distinctive comb looks like a rose petal, you'd be right. If you said anything else, bad luck, but thank you for playing at least. There is no prize for the winners except my undying admiration, which is absolutely worthless. The Rose Comb is one of the oldest and most popular Bantam breeds in the world, and is still considered one of the best ornamental show chickens you can find. The rooster isn't suited to meat production and obviously can't lay eggs, making it perfectly suited to competitive poultry shows. 
Sure, they can be aggressive from time to time, but that's to be expected when it comes to roosters. I mean, they may not be the deadliest animal in existence, but you don't want to be attacked by one, you know? It's just embarrassing. The rose comb may not be good for much other than looking pretty, but it does that well, and honestly, when your face looks like a rose, you don't have to do much else. Man, we're just breaking my own records in terms of sentences I never thought I'd say. Number 8. Silky Okay, yeah, I know, I know, they look ridiculous, but isn't that what you're here for? You want to see some funky-looking chickens, right? Well, you can't get much more funkier than this Chewbacca polar bear-looking little thing. This is maybe the cuddliest rooster you've ever seen. I'll call him Doug. Hey, Doug. The Silky is one of the most popular pet chickens in the world for obvious reasons. They're gentle, they're cuddly, they slightly resemble the people in costumes you see at places like Disneyland. Basically, you want to cuddle them, and that's usually what you want from a pet. Now, silky roosters actually have an even more unique appearance. Having long pointed feathers as well as the fuzzy ones, this makes them even more unusual to look at, which is great news for us, because… well, look at the title here, guys. Silkies are among the most unusual birds, period. There's, there's nothing more to that sentence. But if you're just looking at roosters on their own terms, they have to be close to the top of the list in terms of pure uniqueness. No other chicken on the planet looks quite like this. That unique mix of fur and feathers makes the little guy look a little bit like Chewbacca or a Yeti. Yeti Chewbacca problem solved. Number 7. Golden Pheasant Even if you're not all that into birds, you will be amazed by this next rooster. I, I can promise you. The golden pheasant is not just a bird, it's a work of art that's been brought to life. Get a load of this guy. The golden pheasant rooster is one of the most visually stunning birds on our list. A bright, colorful, showy animal native to mountain forests in China, they can also be found everywhere from the United States to Belgium and Australia. I mean, really, they're nowhere near endangered, which is a relief because look at how beautiful these guys are. When these roosters are put on a display, they spread their deep orange cape, revealing a black and orange fan that is truly incredible to witness. Basically, these roosters are just a burst of refreshing color that you will never be able to forget. Their nature's technicolor wonders. The golden pheasant rooster is one of the most unmistakable of all chickens. It is, after all, beautiful to look at. You'll never see another like it. That's absolutely for sure. Although, we still have a few roosters to talk about, so you should expect me to walk back on that statement pretty quick. Number 6. Australorp with a name like Astralorp, you really hope that the animal can live up to the many, many expectations I have for it. While the Australorp may not be a kind of cyborg-style chicken robot, but it is pretty fascinating to look at, so I guess that's something, right? The Australorp is an Australian chicken developed primarily for eggs. Now, obviously, that's not a rooster thing, so we'll just sidestep that whole topic. In the United States, the Australorp is only recognized in its popular black color. giving it a striking contrast with its red comb and beard, but these incredible animals have a whole range of colors in other countries, including blue, white, puff, golden, buff, splash, and wheat and laced. And no, those last three were not made up. Trust me, I wish I had invented the color splash. The Australorp is not exactly a famous rooster, I I'd be surprised if more than a handful of people had even heard of one, let alone seen it with their own eyes. All that said, it does sound cool, it does look cool, and while roosters can't lay eggs, yet, I still think it's pretty dope. Number 5. Frizzle Rooster It's time to talk frizzle. 
Look, we've been here for a while asking about feathers and beards, but we need to come back to one of the most curious genetic abnormalities in chickens, curly or frizzled feathers. It's frankly adorable. While frizzled plumage can be found in quite a few breeds, like the Peccan or the Polish, the frizzle is a breed unto itself. Recognized across Europe and Australia, the frizzle's history is a total mystery. Experts believe that the gene originated somewhere in Asia, where they have been reported as far back as the 18th century. <laughs> Since then, breeders have developed the species further, all but creating an industry of their own for show frizzles. While nine European countries openly recognize the chickens as a distinct breed, the United States still considers it more of a genetic trait. Frizzle roosters are obviously not particularly useful for any practical purpose, and instead tend to be prioritized for shows or display purposes. Because, let's be honest, if you're planning on attending a competitive chicken show, you're going to want to see a fluffy chicken. I mean, that's not even a discussion we need to have, right? Number 4. Sicilian Buttercup the Sicilian buttercup may sound like a very specific threat from the godfather, but it's also a chicken, and it's a pretty fascinating one. And I'm not just saying that to avoid becoming the next victim of whatever a Sicilian buttercup may be. The Sicilian buttercup chicken originated, obviously, on the island of Sicily, but today these chickens can be found everywhere from the United States to Australia thanks to a series of international exports. I'm pretty sure it was obvious they were exported, but I just didn't want anybody thinking they somehow flew. Better be safe than misleading, right? The Sicilian buttercup rooster is pretty close to your average everyday chicken rooster, but with a snazzy looking spotted pattern all over its lower half. Today, however, the Sicilian buttercup is listed as a threatened species, making their future somewhat uncertain. Today's Sicilian buttercups are a far cry from their original Sicilian ancestors, but they're just as beautiful. They're also one of the few chickens to be depicted in paintings currently hanging in Rome, Florence, and Paris. That's not a joke. Apparently, artists in the 16th century really got inspired by roosters and hens. I guess Netflix really saved us. Number 3. A Seal Rooster by now, you probably have a good idea of how many kinds of roosters there are all around the world. Well, here's another one. The Asil or Asil chicken, native to India, but familiar to countries the world over. They're scary, I'm not gonna lie to you. Early in their development, Asil roosters were primarily used not for food purposes, but for illegal and inhuman acts of cockfighting. Apparently, the Asils are known to be particularly brutal if they happen to fight, with most showing a willingness to fight to the death in just about all scenarios. <laughs> However, when it comes to humans, these roosters could not be more tame and trusting. Try to make sense of that one. Like many roosters, as seals are listed on the US watch list of the Livestock Conservancy, meaning there are fewer than 10,000 of them in the United States. The seals may have had a pretty rough start to their lives, but it seems clear that many of these roosters have been reformed. Although you probably still wouldn't want to start a fight with them, a rooster that's willing to fight to the death is probably pretty nuts. He will play dirty and you don't want to die in a fight with a chicken. That's just embarrassing. Number 2. The Kosovo Long Crower a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, the Kosovo Long Crower awoke with a startling vengeance. No, actually that's not true, but it's the kind of story you want to hear with a name like that. In actuality, it's just a rooster. The Kosovo Long Crower was developed in Kosovo and its surrounding regions, but it's since gone on to make a home in countries worldwide. Today it can be found in a significant amount of countries across Europe. And it's very noticeable. The Kosovo long crower can be easily identified thanks to its dark coloring. 
short nose horns, colorful beak, and bright feet. But their true identifying trait is related to its name. They're long growers. The Kosovo's grow averages around 20 to 40 seconds, though records show some birds stretching their crow to around a minute or more. It's like those people that get on the karaoke mic and just will not give it a rest. The Kosovo long crower obviously lives up to its name. It just loves a sing song, and it doesn't care who has to hear it. Who can't relate to that after a few dozen drinks? That's how much people drink, right? A few dozen? Number 1. Onagadori the Japanese have always been rightfully proud of their culture and history, and naturally they're proud of their animals too. The Onagadori is a historic breed of chicken in Japan that, in 1952, was designated a Japanese national natural treasure. Can't get much more beloved than that. The Onagadori was first bred in the 17th century, and is believed to be derived from other long-tailed Japanese bird breeds, hence that stunningly long tail. The tail typically measures just under 5 feet in length, though some have been known to boast a 40-foot tail. Because what is life without whimsy? Naturally, these roosters can't really do much other than pose for the most spectacular photos you've ever seen in your life, and they certainly do that. Their owners are so protective and appreciative of these national treasures that they painstakingly construct special hutches for them to keep their tails clean. According to the FAO, the Onagador is sadly an endangered species, with at least 250 birds being kept by around a dozen breeders in Japan. Naturally, the Japanese are willing to do anything and everything they can to protect their beloved national treasure, and having seen that tale, I approve wholeheartedly. Which of these roosters were you most surprised by? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.